We're going to look at a couple of algebraic limits, so limits where we need algebraic techniques to evaluate them, right? Um, so this is one of the simpler types of limits that we might evaluate using analytic methods. It's usually the ones that most people reasonably get a hang of. They're, they become pretty comfortable with it. Um, so in this first limit, first thing you might try is direct substitution. It is a rational function after all. We have a theorem that says you can do direct substitution for rational functions. You just got to make sure the denominator isn't zero. So we might check that first. What happens when we put x equals 3 in the denominator? So 3 cubed 27 uh, times 2, we have 54. 3 times 9, so we get plus 27. Minus 32 times 3, so minus 96. And oops, there's a plus sign missing there. Um, plus 15, OK? So let's see, uh, 54 and 27, that adds up to 81. Uh, plus 15, 96 minus 96, ah, 0. OK, so we can't apply that theorem directly, right? Because we have 0 in the denominator. Uh, so then you might check, well, what about the numerator? Well, let's see, in the numerator, 27 minus 18 minus 15 plus 6. The positives add to 33. The negatives add to minus 33, also 0. So we have this 0 over 0 type limit, right? So anytime you have a 0 over 0 limit, this is one of these indeterminate forms. This is a sign that there might be an answer, but you've got to do more work before you're going to figure out what it is. Okay? Now, because we know that numerator and denominator are both 0 at 3, that means we know that x minus 3 is a factor. So we try to factor this out. Right? So we say, okay, so this is going to be the limit. x going to 3. So on top, x minus 3. So I did the long division ahead of time. x squared plus x minus 2 is the factor once you take out the x minus 3. For the numerator, for the denominator rather, um, just, just to show you the other method, um, I did this synthetic division. So a lot of people prefer synthetic division because it's a little bit faster, takes up less space. The problem with synthetic division is it only works when, when you're trying to divide by something of the form x minus a number. Then you put that number in the little box, and then you drop the first coefficient, you multiply, you put it here, you add, you multiply, you put it here, you add, you multiply, you put it here. If you get a zero there, you know there's no remainder, and these numbers give you the coefficients for the remaining polynomials. So now I know that once the x minus 3 comes out, the remaining factor is 2x squared plus 9x minus 5, right? This time using synthetic division. Uh, the problem with being over-reliant on synthetic division is there might be scenarios um, that will come up in this course, in fact, where you might have to divide by polynomials which aren't of this type. Um, you might have to divide, for example, by an irreducible quadratic. Um, synthetic division doesn't apply in that situation, but uh, long division does, right? Long division will always work. Now, good to know. What do we do from here? Well, because we factored out that x minus 3, right? Uh, and because we have this theorem saying that with a limit, right, if two functions disagree at one point, and it's the point at which you're taking the limit, it doesn't matter, you'll still get the same answer, right? So basically what that means is that in a limit, you're allowed to cancel. If you have a common factor, top and bottom, you can cancel, simplify, okay? So that leaves us with the limit x going to 3, x squared plus x minus 2, 2x squared plus 9x minus 5. And once again, you've got a rational function, so you can again ask yourself, is the denominator 0 at 3? So we try plugging it in. So we say, OK, so uh, 2 times 9, 18, plus another 18 minus 5. Yeah, that's, we're safe, right? That's not 0. So we can now go ahead and evaluate. 3 squared is 9 plus 3 minus 2, 18 plus 18 minus 5. Okay. Simplify a little if you want. Um, 10 over 31, and that's your answer. Okay. 
Uh, maybe we'll pause here. We'll come back. We'll do the second example in another video.